Hello, River City Reactor here. Excited about this brand new Tom McDonald. Hope Hangover Gang is ready. I'm sure they are. This is The Machine, which I know of the song. I've heard it on the album a few times. I know it's very heavy, and I've heard other reactors say that they hope he does a video for this one. Because it's, it's really intense and in true Tom McDonald form. You'll see if you haven't already. Very cool song. Can't wait to see how Tom and Nova did on the video. Because they always kill that. So let's get into it. Tom McDonald, The Machine. I am not Republican, I am not a liberal Why the hell can't I just be American without getting political? The system gon' suppress us all, they don't care about the cost How's this a democracy when we got communists in charge? Cancel culture Nazis, all they're missing is the swastikas Honestly, this is a psychological holocaust Pumping propaganda Psychological holocaust That's deep thinking there And I can't disagree with him But wow And just like I said, he's saying the country's going the wrong direction, and we all know that. Hopefully it can turn around, but wow. It's all a big machine, that's what he's saying. Just puffing out all the political garbage, not caring about the people. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. He's all they're missing is the swap. Because honestly, this is a psychological holocaust Pumping propaganda through the screen and straight into your brain You ain't on a plantation, but you definitely still a slave Race theory is indoctrinating You ain't on a plantation, but you're definitely still a slave? Wow That is I said He hits the nail on the head This is What I love about Tom McDonald He's not afraid to say what's out there Brain. You ain't on a plantation, but you definitely still a slave. Race theory is indoctrinating children. Tell blacks they're disadvantaged, tell whites they got white privilege. What a brilliant way to reinforce division. If whites believe they have it easy, they will never help you fight the system. And now they burn in books in untraditional ways. They just traded newspapers for the digital age. Now the facts can be deleted with no physical flames. They just change the information and the truth gets erased. That's definitely the truth there. <clears throat> They're still burning books, but just in different ways. Don't need to physically do it. You can just go in and change the ones and zeros on the computer and act like it was always that way. What do you mean? We didn't change anything. That's what the author intended originally, to say exactly what we think. It's scary. And hopefully we can get past this and the, the smart people know that we're being lied to and that it's not exactly aligning up like the higher ups want us to believe this can be deleted with no physical flames that has changed the information and the truth gets erased they keep screaming to wake up but they The system built to enslave us only works if we're afraid. I love that that line. That says it all you need to know right there. We can't be afraid. We need to take a stand when need be. Stand up and know what your rights are. I am not a liberal Progressive and traditional Are hitmen hired to kill the individual They label people red or blue Divide us They don't ever help They want you thinking left or right So you ain't thinking For yourself Go ahead and vote Cause both the parties are the same side Two teams, one coach Controlled by the same guys Left wing, right wing Both help the same bird fly Brainwashing everybody at the same time Wow Right wing and left wing Both help the same bird fly 
just a uniparty out there that they all talk about. There are some slight differences in the parties, but generally a lot of times they're very similar in what their long-term goal is. And it's scary because I don't think it includes us necessarily. Just enriching themselves. Guys, left wing, right wing, both held the same bird fly, brainwashing everybody at the same time. The internet was once a place that we could get our facts from. Now it's been monopolized. It's Google or it's Amazon. Who fact checking the fact checkers? I can answer that one. The people who control the narratives through the platforms. Let me break this down for you, simple as I can, Kate. They use social conditioning to put you in the rat race. It doesn't matter if you're first or third or if you're last place, you're still a rat, and they're the cats who kill you so you can't escape. Wow. In the rat race, it doesn't matter what place you're in, you're still a rat. That's true. And they're the fat cats wanting to get rid of us all so they can, like I said, enrich themselves. It can be a scary world out there and time isn't afraid to let us know exactly what's going on and hope enough people are listening. It matter if you're first or third or if you're last place, you're still a rat and they're the cats who kill you so you can't escape. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke, not away. We know the system has failed us, and now the media's fake. I swear the government hates us, having opinions is dangerous. The system built to enslave us only works if we're afraid. I am not Republican. I am not a liberal. I am just a man who knows they're scared of a nation that's thinking critical. They kill us or they lock us up for nothing like we're criminals. Divide us because they know that you... Yep. They kill us or lock us up like we're criminals. Doesn't matter if we did anything wrong or not. Which, since he's talking about political here, that leads me to think about what the state of New York did to Donald Trump. Just saying he owes $350 million or whatever it is for something that didn't harm anybody. There's no victims. No one's asking for this money, so I'm not sure where that money would go. Just an arbitrary number they came up with. And now some of the truckers are not going to New York in protest of what they're doing. And the governor of New York even came out and said, other businesses are fine. You don't need to run away. If you're not Donald Trump, you'll be fine. They're saying the quiet fired out loud now. Basically, she's saying that that only happened because of who he is and not because he did anything wrong. And if they'll go after him and other political people, then they will eventually come after all of us. If we don't toe the line exactly like they say we need to. Scary world we live in right now. Republican. I am not a liberal. I am just a man who knows they're scared of a nation that's thinking critical. They kill us or they lock us up for nothing like we're criminals. They divide us because they know that unified we are invincible. Questioning the government's agenda is controversial, but promoting guns and liquor in our music is commercial. They're confusing us with pronouns they made up to make us triggered. You can call me what you want, but just don't call me late for dinner. School teaches you to learn and never teaches you to think. So you absorb misinformation, then you practice what they preach. You ain't free. Yep. School teaches you what to say and not how to think. They just tell you what to say and then you're supposed to repeat it. You're not really learning anything. You're just learning how to repeat the so-called facts that they say, which is okay if they're telling the truth. But in today's world, with all the weird crap going on out there, that's a little scarier because who knows what exactly they're telling the kids that the truth is and how to regurgitate it like it is the truth to other people in the future. I said it needs to teach you how to critically think, not just what to say. That's a big difference.
for pronouns they made up to make us triggered you can call me what you want but just don't call me late for dinner school teaches you to learn and never teaches you to think so you absorb misinformation then you practice what they preach you ain't free can't you see that's how they want you to act that's called conforming to the norm you don't need freedom for that i'm not republican or liberal or left wing or right leaning i took the red pills because that's who's fighting for my freedoms and you don't need to choose to be accepted they both fake teams evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no vacancy they keep screaming to wake up but they Video by Nova. Very cool video. Just, just a dark, dreary looking, a little bit of light behind him. Very fitting for this dark feeling of this song, of how the world is crushing us all. It's just one big machine. And hopefully that machine doesn't continue running smoothly. We need to disrupt the machine and get back to human, feeling a little more human about everything. But that was, that was very cool. Very intense. Like I said, the, the lighting is intense in the video. They did a great job. Hope Hangover Gang enjoyed that one. Like I said, I've been waiting for a video for the, the machine for a while, like everyone else. Great song. Well deserved. Hope it does well. I know sometimes these political ones either do really well or they don't do as well because they're shadow banned and everything else. So please go out there and support Tom. Go like, subscribe over to his page. I'll make a link there and go download the music. Try and support him because we know YouTube and all the other algorithm and the whole media itself is not going to support him. So we need to step up and support him and show the world what he is showing us. Well, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I loved it. Until next time, this is River City Reactor. Goodbye.